Hello, Namaste, Bonjour book lovers. Imagine you are in a voyage and you are accompanied by your boss's daughter. And to engage her throughout the travel, you have to build up a fictitious story and tell her. And by the end of the voyage, you find out that all these tales, fictitious tales are culminated in culminated into a sto- into a novel interesting right so this actually happened in the real life of lewis carroll because of which we got this amazing all time favorite classic alice in wonderland this book was originally published in the year 1865 uh, this book is literally is considered as the most fictitious classic of all the time like in the english language and coming to the story alice is a young girl with her sister uh, who enjoys a lot sitting in meadows reading a lot of books one fine day alice sleeps under uh, a tree in a shadow of a tree and go- and travels back into her dream In her dream uh, she sees that a white rat rabbit comes and takes her talks to her and takes her to the rabbit hole where she uh, where she encounters a lot of different things which is completely different from the actual world the reality there she finds out some wonderland over there like trees will be talking they'll be walking even we cannot see trees walking in our real life right like they are completely fixed into the ground with their roots they'll be singing songs talking and what walking all the way and we cannot imagine that in a real life and the nature is completely different over there for instance this white rabbit itself talks strangely and is always in a hustle bustle mood and uh we can see a hare and a, a cat uh, who go for a tea party there is a anywhere a hare going to a tea party no so similarly like that there are many different things in that wonderland like which keep us awe struck all the time uh alice in the story faces a lot of troubles all the way in her journey in this wonderland and the climax or the most major part of the uh, it, most major part in that wonderland is she witnesses a queen and her uh, men who are dressed like a playing cards and after that she tries to escape from that fury situation and finally she gets up and she realizes that all this was just a dream and that's how the story ends i loved the way how the author had penned down all his imagination into a piece of paper like how he knit all the story in his mind i feel that this book improves our imagination levels and the way how the author had described about each and every character each and every situation and each and every trouble that uh, alice faces is really awesome and while going through the book or reading the book i felt it like a bone chilling experience i say and finally concluding that i hope that most of you also loved this fantasy genre like uh, the adventurous mysterious thriller and bone chilling books right so go grab it in your nearest stores this book contains about 12 chapters and is published by the ibd publishing house Hope you also love reading this book and the experience of going through the book. Thank you. Signing off, Sri Arshika ji. Hope you liked my review on the book Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Watch out for my next video on Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. Thank you. Signing off. Sri Arshika ji. Happy book era once again.